Well, Manish, there's been a number of changes for this Auburn team since the season's ended. The most notable one has been Gus Malzahn taking over the play calling duties. There was a lot of talk since the season ended about his job security, about his buyout. And this is essentially him taking a bet on himself. He told us that he knows that the perception of the, of the win or loss in the bowl game can affect how you feel in the offseason. Chandler Cox, the motion man. Stidham takes a step forward. Now floats one to Whitlow down the sideline. Whitlow cuts it back, middle of the field. Touchdown, Auburn, Jatarvius Whitlow, his longest catch of the season. 66 yards. Right here, you'll be able to see the linebackers in coverage here. He just gets picked on the outside edge. Whitlow, his second touchdown of the game, the one they call Booby. Miami played there at Central, um, Southmore. He's got all this, the talent to be good. Stidham all day. Down the seam. Caught by Slayton, and he can take this to Timbuktu. In our conversations with people from our crew, he could pick up on it one time. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not helping there, buddy. <laughs> Screen pass to Slayton. Slayton breaks free. First down and four. Slayton runs past the entire Purdue defense. Are you kidding me? Ooh. He'd be off. He leaves you <laughs> off the beaten path. <laughs> Unintentionally blast pass batted down. It's intercepted by Big Cat Bryant. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for Purdue and everything coming up golden for Auburn. <laughs> 300 yards passing for Stidham in the first half. Looking for more. Slayton, he's got it, his third touchdown of the first half. And as you watch film of this Boilermaker defense, Antonio Blackman has been a guy because Kenneth Major and Kaysen have played well opposite of him. Much older than the rest of the group. Little misdirection, Ryan Davis into the end zone for a touchdown. Auburn has just set the SEC record for most points by an SEC team in a bowl game.